I don't know what's going on, Love Island. I don't, I, I don't know what you're doing. I'm not in your mood today, Love Island. I'm not in your mood today at all. These late teaser arrivals dropping out at 4 p.m. I don't know what you guys are doing. I'm not here for you and I'm not in your mood right now. Please come correct and fix it. I don't understand. A slog, marry, pie. I'm pissed off today. I'm actually just so irritated right now. I'm not in your mood, guys. I'm not in your mood because I'm actually just over it. This teaser, first and foremost, teaser being dropped so late. I don't understand. Producers, you need to get on it. I don't know why you're dropping teasers so late, 4, 5 p.m., something along this time now that we're getting these teasers. I don't understand. And please, followers, subscribers, people who like my reviews, please do, don't send me any spoilers. Don't send me any spoilers because what it does is it can interfere with my organic reactions when I film myself reacting to the show or I'm doing live streams or I'm live tweeting it can all interfere with that and I just simply don't like it but first it teases why are they being dropped so late and why is this has why has this episode got nothing to do with Casa Amor? why has this teaser got nothing to do with Casa Amor? I don't understand it's just so dumb <laughs> Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, Murad underscore Morali, and let's get into this video. <sighs> guys, who cares for this triangle between Mike, Luke, and Jess? If you were that serious, if you were that serious, you'd have been like, right, stop. We're but, just friends, but you're not. Well, no, because... Who actually cares for it? Who asked for it? I don't know. But now I feel like they're doing a bit too much now. They're stretching this out a bit too much, rinsing it out for all of its worth. Its worth has been rinsed. We don't care for it anymore. Luke now suddenly has all this energy for Jess. Apparently he's been playing them. But where was this energy for Mike when he Mike was talking to you? You were quiet like a church mouse. You were just, you weren't saying nothing. You're just like people, like lads chasing after you. Okay, well no, and that's not the case. I, I think that you haven't made hardly as much effort with me. And now, when it was Jess, you've accused her of playing left, right, center. Yes, I feel like Jess hasn't really been, you know, conquering on who she wants. But at the same time, the game is the game. And Leek, you've been played, and I just genuinely feel like this triangle between these three is just so dry. It's drier than Wallace's personality. Your fellow islanders have voted you as the least compatible couples. And I'm just genuinely not here for it. Like, I just don't care for this narrative, the storyline is just boring. We have this game, they're playing Snog, Marry or Vote or Snog or something, Snog, Snog, snog something pie. Oh now these type of games that I kind of like because they help to cause that friction, you know, who is just going to kiss for example, in that particular stance, or you know, um, not that we really care for that storyline, but still. And then you know, apparently the other Luke um, Pi is Jess and whatever, so we'll just see what happens and what takes place. It's a funny game to play and I feel like that could be interesting. But other than that, I feel like this episode, mm, I don't know, who might get dumped tonight, who from the least compatible couples, what could happen? Who could be dumped? We just don't know. Is it going to be Sophie? Is it going to be Mike? Is it going to be Rebecca? Is it going to be Wallace? Who knows? The public have been voting and have saved two more couples. For I just don't know something about this episode. Just I don't know. Like I just feel like we want to cast them more tonight. I feel like the first half of the episode should be the snog game. Should the first half of the episode should be this um, the snog game? Then you know the second half should be you know who gets dumped and whatever and then the latter half of this episode should be the cast and more texts and the cast and more people arriving so we get a nice like action-packed episode but I just feel like as the season progresses it is getting a bit drier and I feel like it shouldn't, it shouldn't be like that it should be the opposite I wouldn't say the season is completely dead I feel like it has had its drama's worth but I also feel like it being in a different time slot adds as an important variable and also the fact that Love Island ended six months less than six months ago that in itself the back-to-back -back stuff makes us be less tolerant for Love Island episodes that become filler episodes or we become less tolerant for drama that we don't care about. We, we just, we just, we get over it very quickly. We're just like, I'm just, I don't know, like, I don't know. I don't know, like, my, I'm not in your mood today, guys. Unfortunately, this first teaser has just disappointed me. The, the punctuality, the fact that they uploaded it so flipping late as well. I don't know what they're doing, why they're uploading their teasers late. Back with us for the summer season, they used to upload their teasers between 12 to 12.30, 12 to 1 p.m. every single day. Your thoughts are when it comes to this video, do subscribe, comment down below on what you guys think are going to happen today. Anyone that drops spoilers in my videos, you guys are gonna get blocked, I'm sorry, because it's gonna interview and piss everybody else as well as me off, and we're just not here for it, so don't post them 
on this channel because it's just not gonna and don't DM me stuff please just don't do subscribe click that button and I'll catch you guys soon for another video